Hi you guys, uh, in this video I'll show you guys how I match flow uh, issue manifold onto uh, A1400 Nissan A1400 cylinder head um, and everything I do to make it work properly. Okay, so that's the little issue manifold. Uh, what I want to show you guys is the difference in the gaskets. That's the A14 gasket. Um, you can't see, but the ports are much bigger on the on the little 1200 GX SU manifold. Uh, if you look over there, so so you've got a you've got to get a SU 1200 GX SU manifold as well, and then we're gonna bolt it on there, and then we're gonna mark out what we need to cut off. I'll show you in a sec. So now you've got the gasket on there. Um, and there's a couple of small places, like over there, um, where I still need to grind it. But this one I've marked up already. I've already cut away with a cutter. Um, I've got a little bit to do there, maybe a little bit over there. And what's important also, just to mark this, that we know that side goes towards the engine. Because uh, we want to put it, when we do the cylinder head, we want to get that the right way around. So uh, I'll show you what I've been doing so far. So I've been grinding away where I marked it. You can see I don't grind anything inside there. I just grind it that it's smooth. I feel that it's smooth with my fingers when I put my fingers inside. You can see on that board also I've done a bit of grinding over there. But what's important when you look on the inside is that that over there, you get it nice and sharp. Um, on, on both sides and you need to get it equal. See that line on the top? And the same on this side. This side I still have a little bit of work to do. Um, and that's what I do. And then once all of that's finished, I'll polish it. The cutting, I use my air tool. <coughs> With that little cutter in, it works really well. And then for the polishing, I'll use these. So just a little tip when you're cutting away on the inside there because you can't see get the angle that you that you do it and, and stick to that angle and then that you transfer straight to the other side at the same angle and, and if you if you if you do it you'll come out in the middle and then you do the same on the on the other side Here you guys can see the difference and the one that I've just polished it's really smooth as you can see on the inside but I'll do it from the other side I still need to do a bit of polishing but it's really really smooth compared to this side and obviously I've got to do those as well um, but yeah it is a it is a bit of labor but it's well worth it on the end it's important when you once you've done it and you feel it that it's really smooth you don't want any humps or uh, uh, high spots or low spots or anything because that'll just bugger your flow it's got to be nice and nice and smooth smooth is quick compared to the other side So this is the cylinder that I'm going to be using. Uh, the valves were done by the engineers and I've skimmed off a millimeter and a half to give it a little bit more compression. 
um, I can still go a bit, but I'm not going to bother with this engine. So we just now transfer those markings on the ports. Remember the E was for engine side, so we're going to turn it around. We stick it on. And then we're just going to, for it to stop moving when we mark it up, it's not a lot, but it can move. We just want to tie it down. Right, you just want it so that it doesn't move. Just nip it with a spanner. This is the interesting part. I'm just going to mark all of this up. Because what we're marking now is what came off the, of the manifold. And uh, you'll see the big difference in the board sizes between this and the, and the GX. And all of that we've got to grind away. Look at that. All of that that's black we've got to cut away. Quite a bit, hey. And I found this type cutter works the best. You can put it in a drilling machine or in a, a air tool like mine, doesn't matter. Just to cut away. Alright, we better get cutting. Just to show you guys the difference between this one that I've been cutting uh, and that one that's only marked up. Remember, I'm not going to cut any of the of the valve seats or anything away. The valve guides, I mean, away. I just want to match flow the inlet manifold. And you can see there's quite a big difference. This one I'm nearly done cutting. I'm, I'm fairly happy with, with what I've done so far. Um, small adjustments here and there. And then I'm going to polish this one. I've had to change to this tool um, when it went deeper into the port because the, the round nose one made a bit of a ding there and I couldn't get it out so I changed to this more pointy one and it worked perfect so just keep that in mind but look at that it looks all right I'm fairly happy with that um, there's a small ridge over there on the side that I need to polish out but I'm, I'm happy with what I've done it's going to be nice and smooth. Right, so just to try and show you guys what I've done here. I've cut that bit away up to the black, where the black ends, with this cutter, at that angle. All around, cut it all the way, and over there I'll just cut it straight. Um, just to get it up to the mark, now I know where I'm working from. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to smooth it out to the back. So from there I'm going to smooth it out to the back. And this comes up a little bit and then it drops. Here it drops straight away. Uh, that's how I've ground it. So I'm, gonna, I'm just, just going to grind that the same. Uh, and and there's, a, there's quite a hump there. So that hump I must grind away, make it smooth right to the back. Um, remember smooth is fast. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm just trying to do this and show you guys in stages how I do it. Um, and, and the reason why I changed to, to this cutter. Because it gives a gives a better angle to work with. The previous one was quite round. So I prefer, on this, I prefer this cutter. So it's important to check that you've got all the ports the right height and the right angle going down. 
Um, easy way to do is to just feel it with your thumb like that. You will quickly feel that one I can feel still have to do a little bit of work on and that one loads. Um, but there's another way of doing it if you want to get really smart and accurate with it is to use one of these with a with a uh, straight edge on top and then you just see how far that goes until it gets stuck and the next one and you can quickly see that one goes a little further than that one so this one a little bit of work to be done and then you check this one it's about the same and that one you can see got a lot of material to take away and it's just different ways to check because uh, you want to get the ports the same but remember you can only allow through there uh, 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 what the size of the valve you're not going to get more through than what the size of the valve will allow to go through and that's it um, so you the valve is your is your main restriction so now yeah, just check and get them all the same you can do the same from the bottom as well get your get your heights the same All the ports been cut bigger. They're as smooth as you're gonna get them. I'm pretty happy with it. Excuse me. It's nice and flush with the with the gasket, and obviously nice and flush with the with the manifold. I think that's as good as it's going to get. Job well done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something from it. Obviously, if you're going to build a motor for racing, you're going to do much more than what I've done here. This is just for my pickup. It's for street use. I'm going to fit a 276 degree cam with a GX manifold and the issues and that uh, it, it skimmed one and a half millimeters and it'll do quite a bit for performance but like I say if you do it for racing you can have to do way more um, but this will make a big difference and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video enjoy